Public safety is the number one concern for people who live and work in downtown Raleigh. Aggravated assaults are way up and employees and customers are getting threatened nightly. Good evening, I'm Liz Ortiz. Hey everybody, I'm Russ Bowen. Today, business owners and city leaders came together hoping to find some sort of a solution. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live downtown. Haley, you've been down there all day. You've been covering this for weeks now. What'd you learn? Well, business owners in downtown have had enough. Several of them shared very horrific stories today of assault, of violence, of threats, not only happening to them, but their employees and their customers. Officials are now taking a hard look at the problematic areas and the problematic behaviors to try to make downtown safe once again. Downtown Raleigh business owners are struggling. It's really hard to do business with when you have big groups of kids hanging out in front selling drugs. Increased crime impacting their employees. My staff has been spit on. My staff has been thrown up against glass windows. My staff has been sexually groped. My staff has been threatened with bricks and they have had their lives threatened on a regular basis. And impacting their customers. They're afraid to come. Does that resonate with anybody here? They are afraid of Raleigh. We have had a successful business that has only risen every year that we've been open, and now it's down. And some months it's down as much as 50%. Local business owners sharing one similar story after another, each with a plea for city leaders to help them help keep downtown alive and safe. Our biggest thing is that we are trying to convince corporate customers that they want to go downtown, and it's getting harder when safety is bad. During a special safety committee meeting Tuesday, leaders highlighting the hotspots for crime, the Gorelli Station, portions of Fayetteville Street and Davies Street, the Business Corps area and Glenwood South. They're now dealing with an increase of harassment, aggressive panhandling, drug use and more. Business owners are having to clean up uh, human feces outside of our shops, needles from our patios and uh, deal with folks exposing themselves. City leaders now working together to combat the rising crime, looking at what other cities have done to mitigate problems they're hiring private security as the Raleigh Police Department continues to deal with about 91 sworn officer vacancies. We understand the concerns, though, of the public. We understand the concerns of the business community. Um, we want to utilize our officers in every way that we can, and we are doing that. Um, but we just need more officers. Now, Chief Patterson is recommending that Glenwood South business owners get metal detectors to help stop people from bringing in weapons. Officials are also adding lighting and more surveillance cameras all across downtown. And Chief Patterson says while all of this does help, there does need to be extra resources and ways to help combat this growing crime. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. Haley, very powerful sound from those business owners and workers. I mean, these people have been through it. We talk about all the way to the riots that we saw several years ago right before the COVID outbreak. They survived the pandemic and we kind of come out on the other side of that, hoping for new business and better business down, downtown and now this. Very concerning. Very much so. Haley, thank you.